You're gonna stop spending money. You're gonna stop. There's food at home. There's not food at home, but you're gonna make some. My name is Mary Lene. For those of you who are new, for those of you who are not new, welcome back. Thanks for visiting my channel. In today's episode, <laughs> episode, <laughs> we are going to be doing a full get ready with me. And the theme of this get ready with me is 2020 goals. And I know you're like, Mary, why are you doing 2020 goals now? Shouldn't you have done that in like February? No, it's never too late. It's never too late to plan your life. And that's something that we're going to talk about today. Um, yeah, and I, this get ready with me is actually going to be like, get ready with me so that I can film other videos because that's really what I'm doing this makeup for. I am planning in my 2020 goals to film a lot of content whenever I can, however I can, so that I can put it out as fast as possible for you guys. I'm sorry, my bun is a little crazy today. My energy's on high! This is a full get ready with me, but before we get into this make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel Thank you guys so much for watching and I will s well, yeah, let's get this Let's start you're probably wondering Mary. Why aren't you looking at the camera? Why aren't you talking to us? Like are you mad at us if you're not subscribed to problems? I just want to manifest and Put and look at myself when I say all these 2020 goals so that it seeps into my it's seeps into my brain it seeps into my skin so we're doing makeup edges outfit today so the very first thing that I do all the time is I do my edges and while I do my edges we're going to start talking about our 2020 goals so personally I like to split my goals into I guess three or four sections the first section is going to be my health goals because I don't think you can ever be I don't think any doctor has ever told a patient, you're too healthy. I definitely want to get my health in check. It's just willpower, will, will, willpower. So the very first goal that I have is to drink more water. I go through this weird, weird phase. I don't know what to call it. I'll just go through a period where I don't even want to look at water. Like I'm really going to try to get back into that phase of just loving water. My second health goal is to lower my carb intake and my sugar intake um i went on a keto diet and made my cholesterol skyrocket keto diet is high fat low carbs no sugar my doctor's like what is what 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 is going on so then after that didn't work out um i went to low carbs and no sugar low carbs was actually not as bad as you would think it would be so what you do is instead of having that bread and you know you're still going to be hungry after just fill it up with vegetables that's what i did so instead of having like no bun and a side of fries i did no bun and a side salad or a side of vegetables so i would have like basically a hamburger steak with vegetables and that leads into my other 2020 goal which for health is to stop um stress eating and emotionally eating like when I just have a binge, I need to really assess, okay, Mary, why why do you want this ice cream at one o'clock in the morning? Is it because you really want ice cream? Or is it because you're trying to um, like move away from what's actually bothering me? So I wanted to stop stress and emotionally eating because that is a culprit for a lot of my weight gain as well. It's just like stress eating to the max. I don't know if this is a silk scarf, but it does a trick for me. Okay. Bamboozle. Our edges are in there baking right now. We're going to go into the next level of 2020 goals. We're going to go into content. This year, I really want to step my content game up when it comes to quality, the meat and potatoes of what I'm talking about, and my level of comfortability with the camera. My number one 2020 goal for content is to stop asking for permission to make certain content. You don't need to ask for permission to do what you want to do I don't need to ask for permission and when I say this I mean when I come up with an idea that I think is great I need validation from others that yes this is a good idea this is valid and you should do it 
but I need to realize that not everybody's going to have my insight or my feelings toward what I want to do content wise so if I'm asking someone that one doesn't have the same interest as me in the subject or two understands exactly where my vision is they're probably not going to agree that that is a good idea to do for content and don't get me wrong it may not be a good idea but at the same time like I'm already lessering my value by that being making by needing validation from other people that it's a good idea so Mary stop asking for validation if you have a good idea just do the good idea and if it's not a good idea in the end well then you learn from it like stop asking for people's validation I really need to start getting my or letting Diana my roommate do my eyebrows um, I'm not just talking about like YouTube content I don't know if any of you guys know but I am a film and photography major in college and my aspirations are to be a film director and screenwriter for film and TV so I really need to work on my craft I need to I'm not where I'm, I need to be when it comes to writing or directing I don't have the skills yet and that's one of the reasons why I am applying to grad school but we're going to talk about that when we go into school goals I just want to say that it took me way too long to do this little bit of eyeshadow that I did. So anyway, we left off with talking about content goals. I also want to start writing more, um, writing more scripts, writing out more ideas. I don't know why, but one eye always comes out better than the other. But yeah, those are pretty much my content goals i am going to do no i want to i am going to start i've been doing a lot of self-portrait photography though these pictures are good i do want to bring the joy that i feel from these pictures for other people it's so convenient for me to just be the model when i have an idea instead of like going out and finding a model okay so i'm going to prime my face so we're going to move on to my 2020 life goals and this is probably the longest list that I have when I was writing down my 2020 goals. So the very first thing is this school year, which is my last semester of undergrad. Where did the time go? Before my last semester of school, I really want to go my hardest when it comes to grades. This semester is my last semester and I want to I want to get a 4.0. My whole time in college, I've never gotten a 4.0. I've gotten very close, but I've never gotten a 4.0. So I'm actually really, really gonna try this time. Oh my God. And soon I'm going to be applying to Howard University. Um, Howard low-key is my backup plan because I do wanna move out to Cali. And I do know people who um, live in Cali as well, who've told me, yeah, you definitely need to be out here. So I definitely want to be preparing to move to Cali by the end of this year. Then let's go into our 2020 work goals. So I am a videographer and video editor and basically my job is to record the events that go on on campus and also my own events that go that I want to like film. This last semester, I don't know, I was just wasn't in it like I really didn't want to be at my job anymore and I just wanted to like quit honestly and you know I'm tired of slacking like I'm I've been slacking I slack this is the only place I really slack guys because I don't really like my job because I don't know I kind of want to do things that I want to do and I hate working for somebody else I'm gonna just do me and live my life and hopefully you know everything uh, turns out right that's basically all my work goals. I just want to do the best that I can and really practice my skills for when I go out into the real world, I have something to stand on. Like, this is what I did for three, three and a half years of my life. <laughs> Oops. I think one thing to ver be very conscious of when you're making your your goals is that your goals need to be realistic be attainable you're going to make these unrealistic unattainable goals and then when you don't reach the goals you're going to feel bad about yourself but in the end you didn't even give yourself a chance and like all the goals that I've been telling you guys today I know that I'm gonna get them done by the planning that I'm going to be doing I'm not just going to be like oh I'm just gonna do these goals and Hope for the best no you need to plan out these goals that you want to do you need to plan out exactly how you're going to get these goals done 
Okay, and now we're going to go into my life 2020 goals. I want to go back to therapy. And not that anything is wrong, I actually feel very happy with my life. I just want to maintain this happiness and I want to also work through any of the things that I've, that I've dealt with in my life that are low-key still unresolved. So I definitely want to go back to therapy. My life got really busy and really unpredictable and my schedule just didn't allow me to go to therapy like I wanted to anymore. So, so I really want to go back to therapy. That's something I definitely want to do this year. Like I just want to give myself that release, you know? When I was in therapy, I really did like it. It just felt like a judgment-free zone, like just say whatever you've done, whatever you feel, and we'll work through it, you know? And sometimes your friends and family can't give that to you because their emotions and their ideas of how you should be are so stuck in their head. But when you go to somebody who doesn't know everything, you know, it's, it's easy to talk to. And you know, they have your best interests at heart. Anyway, so yeah guys, that's pretty much my 2020 goals. Just to create more content, stop asking for permission, build a morning and night routine so that I feel good all the time. I cannot concentrate with this dog barking. Okay. We're gonna set all this. And yes, I'm going to start the glue process for my lashes. I like these kiss lashes. At first I was scared to use them because they looked a little crazy, but then when I actually put them on my eyes, I was like, oh, they actually look cute. And like I said, guys, when it comes to setting goals for yourself, you have to make sure that these goals are, you know, feasible. Like don't sell yourself short give yourself a fighting chance to actually get these goals to get off the ground and not just be something that you keep in your notebook you know like i'm already starting my 2020 goals i'm already creating content every single week even though i might not post it every single week i still have something that i can put out you know and that's all i really want i want to be consistent and i already started that goal when i was um when it was like toward the end of last year if you guys haven't noticed i have been posting every single week so let's hope that that stays up oh i forgot a goal that i want to do i want to save at least 800 dollars by may and i know some people who have like regular nine to five jobs that pay like an actual salary i don't have that i get eleven dollars an hour every two weeks so i need to save up my money because by september of next year i want well, september of 2020 i want to at least have a thousand dollars saved up for security for safety and I know to some people that seems like a very small small amount to save up in that many, amount of weeks. But I have to think about I have bills to pay. I have, I want to buy a new camera this year. So I think $800 by May is a good thing. I mean, I saved up that amount of money in, a, you think, a little less than four months. Anyway, February. Yeah, I saved up $400 almost $800 um, in three months, so I'm pretty sure I can do it. I have faith in myself, and that's all I really need. Just to be focused and to have faith in myself, you know? Focus and faith. That's all you really need in life, is focus and faith. Cute and simple. Did I have praline in here? Praline, where you at, girl? And this just blends everybody together. Beautiful. I think that's cute and simple. And all we need now is my lashes. It's 
excuse me guys while I go put on a lash. This is the finished look now. So let's wrap what we were talking about. Remind yourself to be kind and understand that everything is a process and you're not gonna get everything the first time around, but that's okay. Life has its own process, it has its own time, and everything happens when and how it's supposed to. So don't question how things turn out or how things end up. Just know that you are where you are now for a reason and that's only gonna help you get to where you need to be. I'm so proud of you. I'm excited for you for all the things that you're going to do in life. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like and comment what your 2020 goals are if we have the same goals and how you guys are going to get there. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you ne in next week's video. Have a good year and let's just be great together. Oh guys, before I forget, I told you that it was a full get ready with me. So that means you get to see what I'm wearing for this day. I'm wearing my Teddy, my Phoenix shirt from Forever 21, and some blue jeans from Old Navy tied off with this brown belt. I'm probably either going to wear my off-white Vans or my Fila shoes, either the green ones or the regular white ones. But yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next week.